And Tesla's annual shareholder meeting kicking off right now. Founder Elon Musk is set to answer some tough questions on everything from current demand to plans for an entirely new line of vehicles. For more on Tesla, we are joined right now by Lauren Fix. She is the car coach. She is on the call. She's going to be breaking in with some headlines. So, Lauren, first and foremost, what are you listening for? Well, I want to listen for a few things. Number one, what were his quarterly sales and what's the demand? Now, from what we're hearing and rumors is that the demand is actually soft for the Model S. People are waiting on the Model X, which is the SUV or luxury crossover. And also, I'm curious how many deposits he's got on these vehicles. In addition, I want to know what's going on with the Gigafactory and some of the other additional updates. Remember, his financials are not by generally accepted counting principles, so they won't be the same as other car manufacturers. Uh, to your point, it is harder for Wall Street analysts to go <laughs> through the numbers, but I want to ask you about that factory. I mean, it's a $5 billion facility. We know it's being built in Reno, Nevada, and that really seemed to at least shape sentiment, Lauren. I'm sure you'll agree as far as Wall Street. Yes. I mean, the stock, if you look last year, not doing so well, even the beginning of this year, but once they talked about that power wall, that battery for your home, all of a sudden, a lot of positive sentiment went into Tesla. Right, because he's expanding beyond the actual outside of the automobile. Now, there, there are analysts that are saying that the stock's going to go over $370, which even Elon Musk will tell you, it's definitely an overinflated stock. But it's a great way to make money for a lot of investors, so it's something certainly to watch out for. What he says will definitely impact the stock values tomorrow. So what do you think about China? To what extent will Elon Musk discuss demand from Asia? I think he's going to try and avoid the conversation of Asia because the sales have, not, have been far from what he expected. Uh, he also has a problem with a lot of vehicles coming off of lease. And those Teslas that are coming off of lease are hold, held by him because it's not a franchise dealership, therefore can't go through traditional leasing. So he has to find a home for these cars. And that plus new vehicle sales, there's a very small amount of demand overall when you're looking at the full marketplace for electric vehicles. So. He's going to have to find a home for these vehicles, and that could impact the bottom line as well. Okay, Lauren, I know you're about to get on the call, so we'll check back with you in just a little bit. Lauren Fix joining us there. We take you now to Lauren Fix, the car coach. She has an update on Tesla's shareholder meeting. Lauren, what are you hearing? Well, the big thing is we've had two uh, board, of, board members asking for them no longer to offer leather. Uh, one lady says she would like to have vegan cars, which I find that kind of interesting, uh, but uh, this is something that, uh, you know, I guess every manufacturer has a choice. A lot of luxury manufacturers offer a product called El Cantera. You see it in Audi and BMW, Mercedes, and so forth, but this is something that um, they're all looking for some sort of leather-like product that is environmentally friendly, so that seems to be the hot opening topics. All right, we are going to come back to you for more because chances are some other ones are going to come up. Lauren, we'll see you in just <laughs> We take you back quickly to Lauren Fix. She is the car coach. She has been listening in on Tesla's shareholder meeting. All right, Lauren, anything pop out? Yeah, I think it's interesting. You were talking about the power wall, and uh, I guess they got some good press and some bad press, and he actually said he was willing to listen to all press, which is a nicer change of pace. Uh, they're going to change the power wall from 2 kilowatts to 7 kilowatts and give priority to people that have solar panels already in place. He's thinking about $3,500 for the cost of the power wall plus approximately $500 for installation. So that's really, he spent quite a bit of time talking about uh, Tesla Energy, which is the future growth of the business. And then also uh, expanding into a Stockton factory where they're going to be doing their own foundries internally so that they can cut some of their costs and expand in their stamping and proficiency of getting product out the door quicker. Okay, so Lauren, we are going to come back to you for more updates. Thank you, thank you. Lauren Fix joining us there. She is the car Lauren Fix, Hi, I'm back Lauren with Fix, me. The car coach listening in on Elon Musk. So far, we've heard nothing about profits and total sales of the product. We're still waiting on that. Back to you, Deirdre. Okay, Lauren. Thank